Do you have a difficult time making decisions? Hmm? Are you indecisive? Sorry, that's redundant. If you have a difficult time making decisions, then that would make you indecisive. Anyway, today we're going to be talking about questions you can ask yourself to help you make decisions. Mm -hmm. If that interests you, then please stick around. Okay? Thanks. Welcome to another episode of Mental Health and Makeup Monday. Hi, how are you? How have you been? It's been a very long time for me. I've had so much going on. And yeah, but I'm back and I'm happy to be here. And do you like my hair? Mm, 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 mm. It's fun. So let's see, let me catch you up real quick before we get started. So I went on a cruise with my bestie to Ireland and Scotland. I had a great time with her, hated the cruise. I really don't recommend it unless you like shuffleboard and bingo and old people. But if that's your thing, more power to you. Anyway, what else happened? Oh, we got a cat. His name is Moochie. He might grace us with his presence in a bit. He's very needy. And my daughter started college. I know, crazy. Yeah, it's been a lot happening. Anyway, decision making. Let's get to it. Now, I'm very out of practice with my makeup, so bear with me. All right, I'm not a makeup artist. Also, in case you're curious, I'm using a new foundation. It is Clarins Skin Illusion. Okay, I really like it, but I hate the little dropper because I feel like it just wastes so much makeup. It's a conspiracy to get you to spend more money. Don't sue me. Anyway, where was I? Oh yeah, decision making. So, are you indecisive? Right, I already said that. All right, so ask yourself the following questions if you are struggling making a decision. Do you have all of the information that you require in order to make the decision? That is the first question. If you don't have all the information to make the decision, then what are you doing? Why are you freaking yourself out? Let's stop that. Okay. If you don't have all the information to make the decision, then stop right here and go figure that out. Moving on. Another question to ask yourself is, do I have control over this decision? Yes or no? If the answer is no, then there's really no decision to make. Am I right? If you don't have any control over it, then what are you doing? Why are you freaking yourself out? Stop that. Oh man, I already messed up. Look at that. Hot freaking mess. Next question. Is there someone or something that is influencing my decision? Am I conflicted because of other people or things? That's another question to ask yourself. Okay. So do that. Oh yeah, I meant to tell you guys at the beginning that this is not a foolproof method, okay? These are just questions that help. <laughs> These are just questions that might help you arrive to some kind of conclusion with whatever decision you have to make. Okay? So just keep that in mind. Not foolproof. But give it a try. This one's darker than the other. I don't know what am I going to do? What am I going to do? As you stop to reflect on whether or not there's a person or situation that's influenced your decision, you want to ask yourself, what's the reason for this? What's the reason that this person or situation has an impact on your decision? And how much value are you placing on other people's thoughts or opinions? Okay, so think about that one. Next question, following up with the previous question, does this decision affect or impact someone else? Okay, it's important to know that before you make any decision. Okay, it may not be up to you, which goes back to the other question, do you have control over this? Maybe it's not your decision to make alone. Okay, so stop, reflect, think about it, and take it from there. Okay, so it's almost Christmas. How's everybody doing with that? Anybody else sick of Mariah already? Sorry, Mariah. And it's one of those songs that just doesn't ever go away. Like, even when it's not playing, it's in your head still all the time. All right, next question. Was this decision imposed upon you by someone else? Once again, it may not be your decision to make then, you know? That's where boundaries come into place. If it was imposed upon you, then you gotta take a step back and set those boundaries with whoever imposed that decision on you, okay? So keep that one in mind. Another question that could be helpful is, will this decision improve my life or the lives of others? Answering that question might help you make a decision. Now would be a good time to write these things down if you haven't already started. I'll wait. Ready? All right, moving on. Next question. Can you change your mind once this decision has been made? Can you? If not, it's understandable if it takes you time to make the decision. So don't fret. If it's not urgent, then give it some thought. Okay, all right, how am I doing? I think I'm pulling this off, but I'm not sure. It looks slightly less ridiculous than it did earlier. Yay me. All I want for Christmas is somebody to stop playing this song because it gets on my nerves and I hate it so much. It is you. Oh, look who's here. Can you see him? Moochie. 
Can you not lick your ass in front of the camera? Thanks so much. Cut it out. That's rude. That's rude. Right then. Decision. Another important question to ask yourself is, can you afford to make this decision? Does this have a financial cost? And if you can't afford it, then there's no decision to make. Okay, now before I move on to the last couple questions I have for you, is there anybody out there that has struggled with indecision and has found their way through it? Please share. We would love to hear from you. Maybe you might have a couple tricks or tips that I have not yet shared. And if that's the case, leave them down below. Indecisiveness boils down to not trusting yourself, okay? And not trusting yourself can cause anxiety, which can cause you to just feel stuck and immobile and paralyzed. So even if you've gone through all these questions and you still feel stuck, you know what I'm gonna tell you to do, all right? All right, now if you haven't gotten to the point where you're like, yes, I know what I'm gonna do, yay, thank you, Keisha, <laughs> you're welcome. But if you're not there yet, then next question is really important. It might be really helpful, so don't go anywhere, stay put. Okay. So if you've made it this far in the video, I'm guessing you still haven't made up your mind or you just want to see the final look. Either way, here we go. Riddle me this. Do you have the skills required to follow through with the decision that has to be made? All right. This question might really help. Okay. If you don't have the skills, do you know where to get the skills? And perhaps not having the skills is part of what's keeping you from making your decision. All right. And last but not least, do you have support in your decision? whichever direction you decide to take, okay? And if you do not have the support that you need, you can always look to a therapist or a coach to help support you in any decision that you might need to make for your life. If anything, I hope you take away from this video is not to let indecision stand in your way of taking a step forward in your life that might improve your life or the life of someone else. Until next time, be well, be strong, be loved. All I want for Christmas is you. Oh my God, I'm gonna shoot myself. I hate this song so much. How could I get it out of my head? <laughs>